Welcome back to Fabbed Fun. My name is Logan, and today we're going to be working on the C60's front brakes. Just giving them a, a check to see if we can break the bleeders loose, check the shoes, check the bearings, make sure everything's going to work okay, and uh, just make sure that's not something we need to buy parts to replace. Crawling up under the front end here, I was checking to see if I could break the bleeders loose on these front wheel cylinders uh, under the passenger side right now, and it is hard to get the camera angle set up just right. It is, you know, there's a lot of space under this compared to like a regular pickup truck, but it's still a little bit cramped uh, when you're looking at trying to record different angles and be able to fit in places at the same time. Interesting thing about this, um, one side. Uh, using a quarter inch driver ratchet, once I took a 10 millimeter deep well uh, to get the bleeder and it did crack loose. Uh, it was actually pretty easy, it didn't take a lot of force. I was afraid I'd strip it out, round it off, or or just wouldn't be able to get it to move. Uh, that's one reason I was using a quarter inch drive, but I had a 10 millimeter socket that fit on one and when I went to the other side it actually took a 3 8 so apparently somebody had changed the bleeder at some point. Alright, so it looks like we're done with that side. Try to move the camera a little bit. Watch out for oil. Might be dripping down anytime. Could be power steering fluid too. Who knows? So, watch for drips, people. Now, as we take a look at this one, it is a different size. I think I try a 10 millimeter on the quarter inch drive, a deep well, uh, but it ended up being 3.8. So, definitely be careful, guys. Check your socket when you're wrenching on something. Um, don't want to have the wrong size just because it was it fits somewhere else doesn't mean it's going to fit at the next place so uh, just a little amateur tip from me check and make sure it fits snugly on whatever you're working on I'm taking a little scratch brush here and cleaning it off get some of this grease and dirt and rust out of the way what's kind of neat it still had a little dust cover on the bleeder valve so I got that off and just continued working on it until we could make sure that that bleeder was going to come loose. Well, here's an update for everybody. I didn't record the whole time because I had help and a 
couple of bodies moving around here and some communication. So didn't record everything, but we did get this dust cover off, got the wheel off, um, took the, well, there's a nut in behind here, cotter pin, nut, a washer that's got a little tooth on it, slides on the spindle that comes out. When you take the drum out, uh, the bearing, bearings all come with it. We checked everything out. Um, I've got a little bit of video of that. You can see the shoes are in pretty good shape. The bearings look like they were pretty good. Didn't really see any problems. The bleeder came loose on the wheel cylinders, so we're, we're pretty, uh, pretty confident that we can bleed the front end. Now, when we start looking at the back, so we've got a brake line that comes back. Uh, when it gets to underneath the cab, underneath the driver's seat, there's a little block along the frame and it starts a new line. I think from that connection back, we need to replace all the brake lines. I think we're gonna try copper and see how it goes. Once that line gets uh, back here close to the back axle up along the frame, it goes to a rubber hose, drops down to the axle just above the differential, and then goes into a distribution block from that rubber hose that sends it over to this side and one over to the other side. Now from this side, it goes into the bottom wheel cylinder and where there would be a bleeder on it, it actually goes into another line that goes up to the top wheel cylinder and then there's a bleeder there. So you bleed from the top and it's like that on both sides. We do have a wheel cylinder off here. The bottom one is still there. Don't know if you can see it very well. Lighting's not real great in here. I ought to invest in a professional shop. But we're pretty happy with how things are going right now. Obviously, we're getting new wheel cylinders for the back, all new brake lines, rubber brake line. That's all going to be new. But that's the update so far. So hopefully, we'll have all the parts in here pretty soon. And maybe in the next couple of days, we will finish the brake lines on the back and have everything back together and ready to hit the road. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, we do appreciate it here at Fabbed Fun. Appreciate all those new subscribers. Hopefully we continue to make some pretty good content for you guys. Not everything's gonna be super entertaining. Some of it's gonna be more informational. Uh, and we'll try to make those videos pretty short. Just for people that are interested, if they got an old C60 or they're thinking about tearing into a brake job or something, well, we're already doing that. So hopefully you can watch this and get an idea of what you're gonna be tackling. Um, but as for tonight, I think I'm about done. It's gonna be a short video. Like I said, I'm getting really tired. No? I need a better joke writer, don't I?